Karna, one of the most complex and tragic characters in the Mahabharata, was born to Kunti, the mother of the Pandavas, before her marriage to Pandu. Kunti, granted a boon by sage Durvasa to summon any deity and have a child, invoked the sun god, Surya, resulting in Karna's birth. Fearful of social stigma, Kunti placed the newborn in a basket and set him afloat on the river. He was found and adopted by a charioteer named Adiratha and his wife, Radha, who raised him as their own. Growing up, Karna displayed exceptional skills in archery and martial arts, rivaling the best of warriors. Despite his prowess, he faced discrimination due to his perceived low birth, as he was believed to be the son of a charioteer. Eager to prove himself, Karna sought out the best teachers. He approached Dronacharya, who refused to teach him due to his caste. Undeterred, Karna disguised himself as a Brahmin and became a disciple of the great Parashurama. Under Parashurama's tutelage, Karna mastered the art of warfare and acquired formidable weapons. Karna's true lineage remained unknown, and his life was marked by a series of events that shaped his destiny. During a contest in Hastinapura, Karna challenged Arjuna, the third Pandava, to a duel, impressing everyone with his skill. However, he was again humiliated due to his supposed low birth until Duryodhana, the eldest Kaurava prince, befriended him and crowned him the king of Anga. This act of friendship bound Karna to Duryodhana, and he remained loyal to him throughout his life. Karna's loyalty to Duryodhana led him to fight against the Pandavas in the Kurukshetra War. Despite knowing that they were his brothers, Karna's unwavering commitment to his friend and his own sense of honor compelled him to remain on the Kaurava side. His role in the war was pivotal, and he fought with exceptional bravery and skill. One of the most significant aspects of Karna's story is his generosity and adherence to his word. He was known for his charity and would never refuse anyone who sought his help. This virtue, however, also led to his downfall. On the eve of the war, Indra, the king of gods and Arjuna's father, disguised himself as a Brahmin and asked Karna for his divine armor and earrings, which made him invincible. True to his nature, Karna gave them away, even though he knew it would render him vulnerable. During the Kurukshetra War, Karna's heroism and combat skills were unmatched. He faced numerous adversaries and fought valiantly against the Pandavas. His enmity with Arjuna culminated in a fierce duel on the battlefield. Despite his courage and skill, Karna was doomed by fate and the curses he had received. He was cursed by Parashurama for deceiving him about his true identity and by a Brahmin whose cow he had accidentally killed. These curses played a crucial role in his eventual defeat. In the climactic battle with Arjuna, Karna's chariot wheel got stuck in the ground, fulfilling the curse of the Brahmin. As he struggled to free it, he was left defenseless. Seizing the moment, Arjuna, urged by Krishna, shot an arrow that killed Karna. It was only after his death that his true identity was revealed, leaving the Pandavas to mourn the loss of their elder brother. Karna's life is a tale of extraordinary heroism, unwavering loyalty, and tragic fate. Despite his noble qualities and exceptional abilities, he was continually thwarted by circumstances and the harsh realities of his time. His story evokes deep empathy and serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of human nature, the injustices of society, and the inexorable force of destiny. In conclusion, Karna's character is a rich tapestry of valor, virtue, and tragedy. His unwavering commitment to his principles, his loyalty to his friend, and his tragic end make him one of the most compelling figures in the Mahabharata, embodying the timeless themes of honor, loyalty, and the inexorable fate that governs human life.